In this video I will show you how to install a software that you need for virtualization. Just if you don't know what virtualization is. It allows you to simulate another computer right in your environment. Each virtual machine has its private virtualized hardware, a network card, disk, graphics adapter and so on. So when you need another computer for testing purposes or if you want to easily move and run a whole bunch of programs that you have installed and set up, virtualization will help you with this. Because a virtual machine is just a set of files that you can copy and paste to another computer. Just look at it. I'm currently working in Ubuntu, but not in this one. So it is just a virtual machine, hope you got it. To run a virtual machine you will need a special software. So let's see how you can do this. What do we have? We have KVM, which stands for Kernel Based Virtual Machine. This is a good solution. It will run in your server and on your desktop as well. If you are not an advanced user, you can have an interface to easily configure and run your machines. It runs on all Unix-like operating systems. And what's also great is that this is a free software, so you can use it anywhere, any way you like. All parts of this program have GPL or LGPL license. So we'll be talking mainly about this. But it may happen that you have to work with other software. So just for you to know, there is, for example, VirtualBox from Oracle, which you also might want to use. There is more software for virtualization. Zen, for example. You can search for this. And do not forget another type of software. This one. Now, let's install KVM. At first, let's do some checks for our host system, the system that will run our virtual machines. This part is common for both desktop and server computers. Check that your CPU supports hardware virtualization. To test it, enter this command. You can copy it from the article. Zero means that your CPU does not support hardware virtualization. One or more means that it does. But still, make sure that virtualization is enabled in your BIOS. You may execute KVM OK, which may provide an output like this. KVM acceleration can be used. If you see an error here that it cannot be used, you can still run virtual machines, but it will be much slower. Now about the system kernel. You will need a 64-bit kernel if you want to give more than 2 GB of RAM for your virtual machines, or to host both 32-bit and 64-bit guest machines. A 32-bit system can only host 32-bit guests. To see if your processor is 64-bit, you can run this command. And again, 0 means CPU is not 64-bit, 1 and higher means that it is 64-bit. LM stands for Lone Mode. Now see if your running kernel is 64-bit. Just use this command. 8664 means 64 bit kernel, anything else 32 bit kernel. Now, after you made some checks, let's install KVM. KVM is a command line program, so this step is also common for both desktop and server systems. Just copy and enter this long command. It will install KVM. Actually, we are installing several programs that we may need in future. And right now, in order not to have some strange errors, add yourself to system groups KVM and libvirtd. So I go back to my username and run these commands. Well, yes, I have already added myself. Now you do it, or you will have errors. And change dev KVM group to libvirtd. Now you need to log out and log in again into the system. So, we have installed KVM. Now let's do a basic check. List your virtual machines with this command. Of course, I don't have any installed now. If you have an error on this step, you probably have done something wrong. Have you logged out and back in? Anyway, I hope KVM is installed and works fine. Go further and install a virtual machine on your desktop with the user interface or on your server using a command line which also can be used on a desktop system.